Hello everyone, this is Soccer Unboxings and today I will be reviewing a recent fan book that I've gotten. Uh, now first I'd like to say I love collecting art books of any sort, uh, but I love especially collecting zines or zines, however you pronounce it, uh, which are essentially fan books that can revolve around uh, certain fandoms and those were what I see most of the time. So, for example, I have some zines that um, reflect certain themes, like we have with these two are flower themed AUs or um, <laughs> zines that are just have fan art basically from the series that they're from. And of course, lastly, ships. Now, normally I tend to get fan books or zines that have a variety of characters. Um, I'm not too. Personally, I don't prefer getting fan books that just have a single ship in it because I just overall like having a variety of characters within a fan book. But of course, that's just my personal preference. But this sign is actually a ship sign. And I've just been following this artist for quite a while now and I just really love her artwork and I just did not want to pass uh, not buying this zine. And so the zine I will be, or fan book, I will be reviewing today is this beautiful fan book. This is the um, In Perpetuum. Hoseki no Kuni fan book created by the artist uh, Paprika. Uh, all of her social media will be listed uh, in the description below. And now first I'd like to go over what exactly this series Hoseki no Kuni or Land of the Lustrous is about. Just for context for those who don't know these the two specific characters in this fan book. So this right here is the first volume of Hoseki no Kuni, or as it's called in English, Land of the Lustrous. So this series was created by Haruko Ichikawa back in 2012, and it had a beautiful CG anime released in 2017 by Studio Orange. Now I'll be flipping through some panels in this just to show off some of the lovely artwork from this manga. So, the story takes place on an Earth that has been destroyed by meteors, which resulted in the elimination of the human race, and eventually in the far future, new life forms in the form of gems who are essentially immortal beings who take on the shape of humans. But these gems are continuously hunted by the Lunarians, who are a race on the moon, who seek to capture the gems to use them as weapons and decoration. And the main character of this story is Phosphilite, who is the youngest of the gems and has the lowest hardness. And they basically just want to prove themselves to the other gems that they can be useful in some way. And eventually, Phos meets Cinnabar, who is a gem who isolates themselves from the others due to um, them secreting mercury from their body, which is essentially harmful to the other gems and other living creatures. Seeing how much Cinnabar has suffered due to their condition, Foss vows to find a job for Cinnabar that only they can do. Now, as the story goes on, these two characters change. Uh, I'd say one for the better and one kind of for the worst. Now, if you have read this series, you'll probably know what I mean. Mostly the manga, because um, the anime has not reached um, the point in where the manga is at. And I should give, I feel like I should give some context between these two before jumping into the fan book, just to understand the dynamic between these two characters. Now after that long section, I'd just like to move on to the artist. So, Pamprika is an artist who mostly draws a lot of um, Hoseki no Kuni art and merch, uh, but she also draws and creates a lot of merch for other fandoms, such as Demon Slayer, Promare, uh, Dora Hedoro, Fire Emblem, Kaiba, Chainsaw Man, Hunter Hunter, 
etc. So the types of merch she sells, she sells um, prints, acrylic charms, enamel pins, washi tape, stickers, buttons, etc. And right now she has two um, fan books that she has created. And for the the In Perpetuum fan book I will be showing, there will be spoilers for Hoseki no Kuni. So if you do not want to be spoiled, I would recommend um, just skipping this video. Now I also just want to quickly shout out her first um, fan book that she's created. And it is this one right here, which is the Divine Zine. It is a... <laughs> A uh, soft cover uh, Hoseki no Kuni fan book, which has some of her older works in it. And I won't be flipping through this, but I just want to sort of just show it off and kind of give like, you know, a price tag on it. So I got the full bundle for that one. It was 45 USD without shipping. And it essentially contains like a lot of her older Hoseki no Kuni artwork and it comes with 22 illustrations, uh, 10 concepts, 5 sketches, and art from 6 uh, guest artists. Now because I got the full bundle, I essentially also got some merch on the side. Uh, so the bundle, I will also be showing, I guess, pictures as I do this voiceover, showing off the, um, the merch that came with it. So it comes with an acrylic charm of the moon gems on the front and the earth gems on the back. Four stickers of diamond, bort, moon foss, and gold alloy foss, and one enamel pin of foss. And so she tends to sell extras on her shop, so if you missed the chance to get um, any of the merch that came with the bundle, you can get it there. Uh, but I don't believe she sells like the bundle fully she'll she'll put the items separately so for instance if you want if you want like all the merch you'd have to essentially pay for it separately i believe but there are limited quantities so you pretty much have to be pretty fast with getting it and i will also be showing some of the other merch i have gotten that are not in like any sort of bundles and it's mostly it's mostly hoseki no kuni um merch so, um, I will go through those. So I got a bunch of stickers from different fandoms. I got a Hunter Hunter, uh, Land of the Lustrous Hoseki no Kuni sticker, and a Demon Slayer sticker. Some of the other things I got, mostly acrylic charms and enamel pins, because I just love collecting those. We have this, um, Hot Server AU acrylic charm. Uh, she tends to have um, AUs. There's her the hot server AU. There's the um, encyclopedia AU, which is the <laughs> much more happier Hoseki no Kuni um, AU. Um, I think she has a few others, but those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. Um, we have this notebook linking acrylic charm. These are um, the next two are two. Uh, lunar enamel pins featuring moon foss and cinnabar and the most recent acrylic charms or not acrylic charms enamel pins that i've gotten that in this clip are still in their pin backing but i put them up on my uh, display these are the promise enamel pins featuring foss at the beginning of hoseki no kuni and cinnabar so that is pretty much all of the merch i've gotten from her uh, she sells her merch on uh, Big Cartel, which I'm not too familiar with, but from what I've seen from other artists who use that website, they essentially tend to open and close their shop, which also she tends to do just to sort of, you know, restock merch. And sadly because of that, I couldn't really get any um, prices on any of the merch besides, I guess, the designs, just because I, I kind of remember. And yeah, so other information about the shop. Sadly, she isn't able to ship to certain countries um, any sort of like physical merch she isn't able to ship. And I think this is just mostly with the UK at the moment. 
So, yeah, so essentially, if you wanted this, like, one of these fan books in physical, and I believe also any enamel pins and acrylic charms, you sadly cannot get that shipped to the UK specifically. And But she tends to update um, her store, like, every couple of months. And right now, actually next month in July, as I'm recording this video, she will be opening up her shop once again. But if you do need any sort of help or you're wondering, oh, can I get this item shipped to my country? If you're like international, cause she's from the US specifically. Um, I definitely sent her like a DM on any of her social medias and I'm sure she would definitely be happy to help you out. And now I'll be moving on to the main event, which is the In Perpetuum Zine. <laughs> Thank you. 